Hey guys, I'm Vignesh and welcome back to my YouTube channel Cloud and AI Analytics. Hope everyone are doing good. So in this video, we are going to do hands on on how to use predefined workflow templates and cloud data flow. So inside cloud data flow, Google Cloud has created many predefined workflow templates. When I say workflow templates, it is like uh, their services which is the big data services which is available in google cloud like bigquery bigtable cloud spanner and uh, the firestore data store cloud storage all those things like google cloud has created a workflow template for making our job like developers job easy so google cloud has defined um, defined workflow templates which supports both batch as well as streaming processing pipelines so in this video, we are going to see batch processing pipeline, which includes services such as cloud storage, where we will get the data. We are basically reading the text file. So that is present in cloud storage and obviously cloud data flow. And finally, we are moving or we are writing that data to cloud PubSub under a specific subscription. We will be pulling that data, whatever the data which is present in that specific text file. So this is the objective of this video. And this video is created to give you a basic understanding on how to create workflow template what is the benefit of uh, using the uh, predefined workflow templates which is available in cloud data flow and also how to submit that job so this is a basic understanding and i just wanted to give you that basic understanding to everyone to to you as well so this is the objective and without any further delay let's get started so i am inside my cloud console this is my cloud console and here you can see like create a job, create a data pipeline, view snapshots, view notebooks. So I'll be going into deep diving in all these topics in upcoming videos. For now to start we will be going with uh, create a job. So here uh, you can see I'm in my job name. My first job is like demo batch pipeline 001 and regional center farm like you can select the closer region point region point so i am very close to mumbai so i'll be going with asia south one and data flow template so as i said earlier like work word account is a basic template uh, um, a basic uh, to get started with we can go with this, this and then the stream so there are many predefined work like from cloud spanner to bigquery cloud spanner change stream to cloud server all those things the same way we will be going with batch pipelines here you can see here process data in bulk that is in batch here there are many files like bigquery to elasticsearch bigquery to mongodb cassandra to cloud big table all those things so where here we will be using uh, this one text files on cloud storage to pubsub so i'm just clicking on this and required parameters what is the input file so for this we have to go into this cloud storage so this is the bucket demo gs util iphone 0 zone this is the bucket which i'm going to use and this is the text file allo.txt if you just click on this download we will be seeing what is the input message so this is the input message we have around five messages and just click on this allo.txt and copy this gs util path and go into this required parameters and paste it here and out out is like where we are going to write it that is in pubsub topic so i have already created uh, many pubsub topics so i'll be using this analysis notes v1 and what is the temporary location like to basically to store temporary logs all those things for that also i'll be using the same bucket and i have created one folder called temp so that's it and encryption we'll be using google manage encryption key and this optional parameters here you can give some optional parameters like what is the maximum worker node what are the number of workers and what are the worker region and worker zones and service account email and what is the machine time if you can see based on the workload or based on the data which is available we can uh, go with the mission configuration so for example um, n1 series all those things here you can see and what is the series which is available in general purpose so these are the different generation same way for computer optimized memory optimized gpu based on the workload so for now we will be using n1 standard one so basically cloud data flow is a serverless serverless service in google cloud platform and for most of the things we will be using cloud data flow only and cloud data flow works on top of apache beam a unified batch and uh, which supports both batching and streaming processing pipelines so the network everything i for now i i leave it to default itself and i'm just clicking on this run job so it is taking some time to load the job 
so yeah now you can see this is how our data flow pipeline will execute and here we will be seeing what is the template like what is the uh, output which you so reading text data from cloud storage and writing it to pubsub and here you can see a job name job id job type job status sdk version so we are using apache beam sdk for currently this is using java 2.41.0 and what is the job region and worker location it's like we configure this asia south one and worker locations also on asia south one so the current workers all those things will be assigned once the job is started so it is currently in the running state once that is started we will be able to see what is the current vpc pu total uh, virtual cpu time current memory total memory time hdd ssd all the storage detail we will be able to see it in this resource metrics and the job start time is october 15 2022 at 11:32 pm so it has been 53 seconds now for encryption we will be using google manage key only and rest all the other things we have disabled it and here you can see like the labels all the other details so app name is text to pubsub so it just given the error so what is the error so here you can find the uh, what is the error detail so just click on this and you can see startup of the organization zone fail to bring up any desired worker please refer to like here you can see zone resource pool exhausted so just we will clone this job and instead of asia south one we will go with uh, us central one itself and rest whatever it is home whatever we are config list everything will be same itself you just click on this run job so here you can see like uh, we don't have necessary resources uh, in this zone asia south one so just go into this job details uh, hopefully it should run so job has started and the job region is like i have con changed it to us central one so it has started you you can see elapsed time all those things so the error which we got right so it didn't even um, start the job itself for example if you can see right like current cpu all those things it is not it started everything so this is how here you can see what is the execution details job metrics all those things job metrics all those details you can see it here and recommendations and job graph so i have triggered the job so basically once yeah here you can see right the job has started the current cpu it has allocated to total virtual cpu is this one and current memory 7.5 gb ram and total memory time and current sdd is 50 gb and ssd is not allocated all those things here you can see all the details you can get it from here and this is the pipeline options so app name is text to pub sub files to stage gcs temp location the temp bucket then this is the input file pattern and job name is demo batch pipeline 001 and labels number of workers we have two worker nodes on output topic like that is pub sub topic pipeline url project region uh, runner uh, we are using data flow runner itself and staging location template location temp location user region all those details you can see you can get it like this is the pipeline options and labels and here you can see resource metrics like totally uh, current memory 7.5 gb i have already explained those things and elapsed time is 1 minute 51 seconds okay the job is done now if you go there this is the pub sub topic which i have used I have created one subscription under this pub sub topic and here you can just pull the message we have to we will be able to see the four messages from this particular this five messages we will be able to see in this pub sub topic here you can see like october 15 11 0 59 the same thing 11 4 here you can see like we got the five message so just i am acknowledging the like enabling the acknowledge message as well so once i acknowledge we will be not able to see this message inside this pub sub project. Like if I again pull it, we'll be, I'll be not able to get the message again. So uh, that's it for this two video. Uh, I hope you learned why why this caused the error, all those things. Because there is, is uh, no resources available in that particular zone. So yeah, the job is successful. Here you can see, if you wanted to see the logs, you can go here and you can get all the details here. Or else you can go into the cloud logging as well. Now, so that's it for this video. I hope you learned something new from this video. 
this is just a basic video and we will be seeing more videos on batch as well as streaming as well in the upcoming sessions so if you have any questions please post that in the comment section i'll take a look at it and reply to it as soon as possible please do like comment share and subscribe to cloud and ai analytics and don't forget to click on the bell icon i i'll be seeing you in the next video with more in, uh, with uh, interesting content related to google cloud platform until then it's bye from viknesh happy learning take care